let's solve this equation for x. This is an exponential equation, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to try to get x. We want to get x by itself, but we have to get rid of the 4. So I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides. 19 to the x plus 2. And now let me, let me write that down here so you, we have more room. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the log of both sides. And the reason I do that is because taking the log allows you to bring the exponent down. But I'm taking the log of both sides because whatever I do to one side of the equation, I have to do to the other. Mm -hmm. Now that allows me to take this and turn it, instead of an exponent, it's now a factor. And so make sure you put parentheses around it because it's a factor. Otherwise, you might forget that you have to distribute it. Now this number, log of, log of 1, or log of 19 is just a number. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's 10 to the what equals 19. Not that you have to find out what that number is, but that's what that means. This is also just a number, so treat them as factors, which is what they are, and let's divide both sides by the log of 19. The log of 139 over the log of 19. And again, this is just some number. Don't even worry about um, evaluating it yet because we're not done. Now to get x by itself, I subtract 2, and there's my answer. Once you punch that carefully in your calculator, you're going to get a decimal approximation. It's going to be around point, or negative point three two. But you don't want to round it. You want to keep that number in your calculator, and you want to store it for x, and then type this into your cal calculator, being very careful to make sure you put parentheses around that, and you should get 143, and that's how you check it and make sure it's correct.